Hello amigos and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about my editing workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro when it comes to wedding films. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how I edited this wedding film of Kari and Michelle, which I posted a few weeks ago here on this channel. So if you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend to go check it out first and come back later. Like everything feels natural and normal with you from day one. But since I met you, you swept me off my feet and showed me what true love means. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I think especially wedding films are kind of hard to edit because you don't have a script or even know what's gonna happen on that day until that specific day. So you come home with hundreds of clips and have actually no idea where to start. So this video is really based on my workflow and how I work more efficiently and less on the actual creative editing part. When I film weddings, I work most of the time alone. This is kind of hard on the one hand and you need your routine, but on the other hand, it is really helpful because I already know what happened that day, what footage I got and which moments I captured. So I can organize all the footage much, much quicker than I can do when I edit someone else's footage, right? Okay, let's jump right into Premiere. I just created a new project. Then I import all the footage I took, which is already organized on my hard drive in folders named by the camera or type of gear it is taken with. This way it is much easier to find something later. Then I create two new sequences. The first one I call wedding film and the second one footage. At first I open the footage sequence. Usually I film most of the time in 50 frames per second on my main camera and record all the sound like the vows, speeches and so on completely separately. So I don't use any on-camera sound at all. This means I can convert the 50 frames per second footage into 20 frames per second. So just mark all the clips, right click, modify, interpret footage, type in 24 frames per second and press OK. Now make sure your footage is sorted by capture time or name and move everything into your timeline, like so. I'm gonna do this for each camera of course and label the different cameras with different colors. The next step is actually one of the most time intensive processes of the whole workflow. Therefore we need two hotkeys, cut and ripple delete. These can be set at the keyboard shortcuts to whatever you want. For me, Q and W were quite good. With the cut hotkey, we actually set a cut at the marker's position in the timeline and ripple delete deletes the mark clip and also moves the clip behind so there's no empty space that would be there if you would just hit the normal delete key. Now I'm going through the whole footage and kick out everything that's not usable means it's shaky, nothing interesting happens, running exposed or whatsoever. Afterward, we have a sequence with only footage we would probably use in the final wedding film. The next step is syncing my static cam with the external recorded sound. This camera records right away in 24 frames per second so we don't have to care about any slow-mo stuff or something and yeah, then the creative part begins. I try to build a story out of the sound files I recorded and look for music that works with it. This step is really hard to explain because it is a creative process. But basically I filter the important parts out of the speeches and try to build an emotional story that makes sense somehow. Then I look for music and therefore I use Soundstripe. For me, Soundstripe seems like the perfect solution when it comes to music because the kind of music they offer fits best for my project and my personal taste. The platform itself is very easy to use. 
the different playlists make searching to the perfect song super easy and the search criteria if you're looking for a specific mood are absolutely versatile. So for a wedding film like this I look for something acoustic like guitars just something that fits this Tuscany vibe you know and a good way to check if the vibe of the music fits to the video is looping the music in the background while playing the sorted sequences muted. If that feels good, it should probably work. After I found a few possible songs, I import them in my wedding film timeline in Premiere. I set an out point at around 10 minutes because that's roughly the length of a final wedding film and try to fit the songs somehow together. After I connected the songs, I try to place vocals into the music. So actually, I make the whole sound design before I even place one video clip. If you work like this right away, you have the final length of the video and kind of like checkpoints what needs to happen at what time of the video. So the rest is actually just like a puzzle, putting in the right clips at the right place. Therefore, I open both sequences underneath so I can easily drag and drop the clips I need from the footage sequence into the wedding film sequence. In the end, I do the color correction. Therefore, I create an adjustment layer with the main look and adjust the single clips in addition if I have to. To color correct, I mainly use my SBZ LUTs as a base and if you're a Sony user working with SLOG2, I will definitely link them in the video description for you. This workflow has been very useful for me. Not only for wedding films, but all kinds of unscripted story-driven videos. If you want to save time on your edit, you should try if this also gonna work for you. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this workflow. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so I can produce more of those videos. Thank you, goodbye and I see you next week. Mitchell and Curry, quisiera que esta noche fuera interminable. Que la felicidad de este día se prolongue por toda su vida. Bendiciones. Y que siga la fiesta. <laughs> <laughs>